All right, here we are, June 2023, on my way back up to Iqaluit and eventually the Chidliak project. Last year, we got completely weathered out, stuck in Iqaluit, made it out there for 45 minutes, got our data. This year, we got gigantic plans we got to get done. So hopefully we can do it. Here we go. winter here. <laughs> Amazing. All right, well Holly and I got to camp just a couple hours ago. Wasted literally no time. We're in a storm haven right now, trying to piece everything together. Good thing is it's uh, the end of June, so the sun just is barely going to set, so we're just going to work for the next 48 hours straight. so cool I just wanted to go for a quick evening walk and show you what it looks like it's the uh, end of June there's still just enormous snow drifts here around some of these cabins the outhouse with a view oh yeah that's gorgeous today It's hard to imagine the amount of effort that went into building this camp out here. It's very comfortable. It's got everything you need. That was the end of our first day at camp. Wake up tomorrow and do it all again. It's the newly cleaned tent. Look at this place. So beautiful. Workstation 1, workstation 2, wildlife gear. Other med stations, our med stations ready to go. Here comes the helicopter again with our friends and colleagues. What do you think, Holly? Looks Te pretty good, pretty smooth. Test site one, nice little sample site. Check that out. It's always just so useful to do a test setup when you're at camp before you head out into the dark tundra. We've got the Omni antenna hooked up to the CR-1000. Don't forget, it's going through the RF-407, coming right into the computer, and even better than that, we've got data streaming from outside the OTS sensor. It's hooked up to that tower. What more could you want? Heading down to the helipad. All our gear's getting a ride in the skid steer. Try to get a couple of sights in today. Amazing. out here using a heli to access every site. We've got a total of seven hydrometric stations to install and two meteorological stations to service. Every site is unique. Every site was beautiful. 
harbor site was extremely windy. But Holly and I are tough as a bag of nails. Who needs dexterity anyways? So that's what we do. Fly from one site to the next. Spend about an hour or two on the ground setting things up. And keep moving as fast as possible. It's going to take us about three days to get everything done. If you ever wondered how to clean a Hilti hole, <laughs> now you know! Okay, Holly and I are just getting started on seven of seven sites. That means we're on our last one. And not surprisingly, this site is also windy. So windy, in fact, that your snot just blows right out of your nose. If you're standing sideways, your snot's gonna end up way out there in the tundra. Okay, so we're gonna get this one up. And then it just feels so good to be done a uh, huge push. So that's it, Holly and I are done our scopes of work this year, which is just so unbelievable after so many years of weather challenges. Couldn't be happier. So we're just gonna go sit around at camp and be lazy bums and watch everybody else work. Ha, joking. No, we're gonna help our colleagues with some of their work now. It's like right that's here. That's it. Okay, so then that that's our core uh -huh. area. So okay. point counts if we can only do a few, okay. right? My name is Jason Jones. I'm a director and senior biologist with Ecologic Consultants Limited. I'm a wildlife biologist by training. I've been working on De Beers' Chiliac project since 2013. We have two main programs ongoing at the moment. One is an extensive wildlife camera network. We have 77 cameras out on the land covering a spatial area of approximately 960 square kilometers. This is one of the largest networks I'm aware of in Northern Canada and provides De Beers with a very detailed data set with which to understand potential project's effects and influence project design. The biggest challenge, like many northern locations, is access. Uh, making sure we can get to the sites safely when we need to, uh, to do the biological surveys. Uh, weather is always a challenge, uh, but most of the folks that have worked on this project are used to tough conditions and don't mind working hard. And uh, finally, the other challenge is just a lack of information. Every day we're out here, we're discovering something new about the land. And with De Beers' growing partnerships with the Inuit communities that surround this project, we're able to connect uh, the scientific data that we're collecting with the uh, Inuit knowledge uh, that has been gathered since time immemorial at this location. One of the things I like about working on this project is the folks on the environmental side of the business and the archeological side of the business are interested in the story that the land can tell us and how that story will allow us to contemplate the development of a unique project in this landscape. And that storytelling aspect of what we do is very exciting to me. All right, we pretty much always gotta be ready for the plans to change around here. Look, there's a storm blowing in to the south of Baffin Island. 25 to 35 millimeters so helicopter pilot has a few extra hours this afternoon and they're putting us on the helicopter and sending us out so super grateful to get the opportunity to leave a bit early but uh, also you know you kind of just sort of miss the last dinner and everything else that you planned so goodbye awesome camp you've been very good to us Okay, Holly, that was a job well done. Yes, it was. Martin, thank you for the ride out. Coming home. Oh my. Job well done. Awesome.